Here is the summary of the poem, The Voice of the Rain. The poet asks a softly falling shower about its identity in an attempt to understand its nature. Strangely enough, the rain answers him, calling itself a poem of earth. It identifies itself as a poem that represents and expresses the basic nature of the earth itself. Whitman thus presents himself to the reader as a mediator who is able to communicate with the forces of nature. The rain then describes its constant, silent and intangible rise in the form of vapor from land and water, thus emphasizing its closeness to all elements of the earth. Once it rises to the sky, it transforms into clouds with varying shapes. It asserts that though its appearance changes, its essence remains unchanged. The rain then describes its return to the earth as drops of water. In its descent, the rain claims to relieve drought, to drench even the smallest particle and wash clean the layers of dust. The rain rejuvenates the parched earth and brings life to seeds lying dormant within the earth. In this manner, the rain affirms its eternal nature. It emphasizes how in a never-ending cycle, it returns to give life to its place of origin, cleansing it and making it beautiful. In the final two lines, the poet concludes that the rain is like a song which eventually returns to its creator after completing its journey. Listeners may either appreciate the song or disapprove of it, but this in no way changes its essence. The song returns bearing love and encouragement for the singer or the composer. There are two voices in the poem, one of the poet and the other of the rain. Click each label to learn more. The poet presents himself as a person who possesses the ability to communicate with nature and natural forces. He is the intermediary between nature and the reader. He claims to have received a response from a shower of rain when he asked it a question. As is clear from the poem, he is aware of the importance and significance of rain. The poet has personified rain in this poem. He gives the rain a personality and a character in so far as it enables the reader to comprehend its importance more easily. The rain is shown as being aware of its deep importance to the earth. It is asserted that it is the rain that generates life from the dormant seeds which would have otherwise remained unborn. The rain is presented as having a generous personality. It returns and freely gives of itself to the world and becomes the source of life on earth. The rain is also presented as being aware of its own humble origins from the earth as it describes its life cycle initially as vapor rising to the sky, forming clouds and ultimately returning to the earth as rain. Now let us examine the poem closely. The dominant theme of the poem is the regenerative power of rain as it gives life to the very place from where it originates. Rain is perceived as an eternal process that purifies the earth, rendering it aesthetically pleasing in an endless cycle. Spiritually, the rain is presented as a cleanser that purifies and beautifies the earth of ignorance and filth. Through the poem, a natural process is presented in a poetic manner, letting the reader absorb already known scientific facts from a fresh perspective. An associated theme is the eternal nature of change. The rain keeps changing its form in an eternal cycle. There is a cleansing and renewal that keeps taking place in this cycle. Another theme of the poem is the poet's deep respect for nature. The poet seeks to demonstrate that even a gentle shower is part of the great cycle of nature. The poet wishes to express his own respect for nature as well as encourage the reader to show the same respect. The poem has neither a rhyme scheme nor a set meter and is written in free verse. The poet uses a variety of figures of speech to lend deeper meaning to the poem and also to add emphasis to certain ideas. The use of personification stands out the most. 
The poet gives the inanimate phenomenon of rain, a voice and a personality in the title as well as the lines of the poem. The personification comes out most clearly in this line from the poem. This line also contains a metaphor or an implied comparison. Here the rain is being presented as something that is as musical as a poem. Later, when explaining the cyclical nature of rain, the poet indirectly compares the rain to a song. Both leave their creator but return to their birthplace at the end of their respective journeys. The use of hyperbole, that is exaggerated descriptions in phrases such as bottomless sea and droughts serve to emphasize the power of the rain. In addition, the poem has various examples of antithesis where opposite ideas are juxtaposed. The poet uses these to draw our attention to the grandeur of what seems to be a simple phenomena. In the phrase, altogether changed and yet the same, the poet uses paradox, an idea that seems to be contradictory but is actually true. Only the form of the rain changes, its essence remains the same. Similarly, the idea conveyed by the words, I give back life to my own origin, almost seems impossible. However, it paints a true picture of the cyclical nature of rain. Another device in version has been used several times in the poem. The normal order of words is reversed in said I, as here translated, and duly with love returns. Now that you have an understanding of the poem, The Voice of the Rain, let's take a short quiz based on it. Read the extract and answer the questions that follow. And all that in them without me were seeds only, latent, unborn. And forever, by day and night, I give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it. For song, issuing from its birthplace, after fulfillment, wandering wrecked or unwrecked, duly with love returns. What power does the rain claim to possess? Click the correct option and then click Submit. According to the poet, how does the rain give life back? Why does the poet talk about song in the last two lines? And forever, by day and night I give back life to my own origin. From the given options, I identify the figure of speech in this line. What image does the poet create of himself in the poem?